I want to show you how you can use Excel to draw the payoff pictures for some options. In this case, I'm going to look at a call option as well as a put option. Um, being able to do this allows you to see the payoffs, you can graph it, and maybe get a better understanding of what a call option is. So the intrinsic value for a call option, a call option gives you the right to buy at the exercise price, but not the obligation. So if it's not beneficial to do so, you can just throw it away. So the intrinsic value, that is the value of being able to exercise the option, that is use it as um, to be able to buy at X, even though the price is S. If S is greater than X, the stock price is greater than the exercise price, then it has value. It's what we say is in the money. That is, you can buy at the exercise price and then sell it at that higher stock price and make a profit. If it's out of the money, that is, the exercise price is above the stock price or the stock price is below the exercise price, then it's not beneficial to use, but because it's your option right you don't have an obligation to use it you can just throw it away and you essentially the value is zero so the profit is going to be equal to the intrinsic value minus the premium you paid for the option so I've set up an example here I have a premium of two dollars an exercise price of 20 and I have some uh, different prices here and I went up by two dollars each so it makes the table a little more manageable if I went up by 50 cents or a dollar I'd have a quite a large table so for buying the call or the long call position that's what this is here it's going to be equal to the maximum and there's a function in Excel that finds the maximum of the stock price which happens to be here in B6 minus the exercise price which happens to be in D3 and I put the dollar sign in so that when I copy down um, it keeps the cell locked at D3 or 0 and I'm going to subtract out the premium so that I have the profit okay I could just so, show the pay off for the intrinsic value. This basically just shifts it by the premium. But I'm going to put this in this is D dollar sign 2. Right? So if the stock price is below the exercise price, right? 0 is below 20, it's not worth anything, so you just lose your $2 premium. Okay? I can then copy the cells down. So again, you can copy if you're not familiar by highlighting the cell and you see I have sort of a three-dimensional plus sign. If I move over to this little box in the bottom right-hand corner, I get a two-dimensional plus sign. I hold the left mouse key, and I can just drag it down. And I went out to uh, $40 here. And you can see the different payoffs here, right? At a price below, at 20 or below, you, you lose $2. If the price goes up to 22, you just break even, right? You can buy it for 20 sell it for 22 and make a two dollar profit minus the two dollar premium you paid what's the payoff for the short call going to be well this is a zero sum game so whatever this person makes this person loses so we can just put that it's the negative of whatever is in this cell right they they lost two dollars the person who wrote the call gets the two dollars and again we can copy it down and we'll see that they're exactly the opposite right whatever money this person made this person lost so let's try and graph this so we can highlight all of this information here and sometimes we don't know which graph to use we go to insert and there are a lot of choices for graphs well they have recommended charts and this is the one I happen to want. It gives me this sort of hockey stick looking graph. Right? This, the blue is the long call. The um, orange is the short call. 
And suppose you only want to look at one at a time. And of course, you can edit the chart title, etc. But if you go over here, chart filters, if I want to only look at the long call, I can click off the short call um, box and hit apply. And here I just have the payoff picture for the short call. And again, you can't see it too well necessarily, but underneath here, right here, is the x axis. And this should be $2 under the x axis. And you notice it kinks right at the exercise price of 20. If I want to look at only the short call, I can click that on and click off the long call. And again, hit apply. And I see the graph looks like this. Again, it kinks at 20. This should be $2 above the x axis. And it goes down. And if I want to look at both together, as, as we did when we first um, plotted it, you can see that whatever money this person lost, this person made, right? Because this person's paying $2 to this person for the right to be able to buy at the exercise price of X. At the um, price of 22, they both break even. They cross this X axis, right? And the distance this is from the x-axis is the same distance that this is in the opposite direction. So, you know, it gives you an understanding of what the payoff is, right? When the price is below the exercise price, all you do is lose a premium if you have a long call. If you shorted the call, you make money. So if you don't think the price is going up, writing calls is a good strategy. You get this premium, and you don't, you know, have to pay off. You don't have to deliver the stock because they're not going to exercise. So let's take a look at a put option. So for a put option, and let me just do a little adjustment here so these will be bigger. Oh, those are okay. All right. So a put option gives you the right to sell at the exercise price regardless of what the price is. So what you're hoping is that the stock price is below the exercise price. Right? You can buy it at this lower price and then sell it at this higher price. And again, if you buy the put option, it's the maximum of X minus S or zero. Again, if it's in the money, X is greater than S, then it takes on this value. If the exercise price is less than the stock price, then it's out of the money and it just takes on a value of zero. So let's put in the formula here. This is going to be, again, equal to the maximum of the stock, uh, I'm sorry, of the exercise price, which is in D3, minus the stock price, or zero. And again, I'm going to put it in so we have the, um, the premium in here. And the premium is in D2, so I'm going to subtract out the price, D dollar sign 2. And in this case, they make $17. Okay, let me copy that down, and then we'll discuss this. You can see that at prices below, at 20 or below, you lose the $3 premium. When the price gets to 18, you've recouped two of those dollars, right? You can, um, for example, buy at 18 and sell at 20. You make $2, you pay $3 for the premium, so you only lose a dollar here, All right? And you can see that the price goes up, and the maximum profit is 17. And the reason it's 17 is, the worst that can happen, or the best thing that can happen if you own the put, is that the stock price goes to zero. So you can buy it for zero and sell it for 20. That's a $20 profit minus the $3 premium. And again, the short put is going to be the opposite of this. So I'm just going to put in minus C6. And I'm just going to copy it down. And so again, we have these opposite payoffs, right? Whatever money is made here is lost here. Whatever money is made here is lost here. And again, we can plot this again so we can get a visual 
as to what these payoffs look like. Insert, and again, pick the recommended chart. In this case happens to be the last one. And let me just look at the long put. So I'm going to uncheck the short put box and hit apply. So here we see that if the price is above 20, there's no reason to sell it for 20. 20 is valuable when the price is below 20, right? The price is 12, you can sell it for 20. So you can, for example, um, buy it for 12, sell it for 20, right? So you make $8 minus the $3 premium, and you have a profit of $5. All right. If the price is above 20, 20 or above, you happen to lose the $3. And again, it kinks right at the exercise price of 20. All right. If we just want to look at the short put, again, I'm going to click off the long put box and click on the short put box, hit apply. You see the opposite happen. All right. If the price stays at 20 or above, the person who wrote this put receives the premium of $3. As the price goes down, you can see that they start losing money. And they're going to break even, actually, at 17. I didn't put those numbers in. I did not even numbers here. And again, if you look at the two together, you can see that, you know, whatever money is made here is lost here. They break even here at 17. And then... You know, as the price gets lower, the short put loses money, the long put makes money. So I hope this is helpful in understanding how you can use Excel to draw the payoff pictures, but also to look at them and to understand exactly, you know, what the payoffs are from an option. It's much better to use the spreadsheet than to actually calculate the payoff each time by hand.